Okay, friends, a little bit of a different video today. We're gonna go to Harbor Freight and do some shopping. Uh, as many of you know, I've had a lot of buses. I've flown places to pick up buses. I've been in situations where I needed tools. And uh, in this case, someone is flying here to pick up and buy this yellow bus. Uh, because they're flying here, they won't have any tools with them. It's imperative that if you're driving one of these cars, you have a basic set of tools. The main reason is I can talk you through stuff on the side of the road, but if you don't have a wrench, you're getting towed. So today we're gonna go through Harbor Freight uh, to buy some cheap tools that I think everyone should have in a Vanagon. Um, because I have a bunch of Vanagons, I have a bunch of toolkits. And over the years, I've kind of, uh, you know, figured out which tools you really need, which tools you really don't. And we're gonna try to buy everything we need for a good basic bus toolkit for under $100. Let's see. Why is there no 15? Well, that'll work. Go with one of these in all the colors. And we'll go with one of these. It's gonna have those long guys. We're actually gonna go with this instead of the uh, shallow sockets because this gets us a metric set and a driver. And we'll just go ahead and throw out all these American SAEs. We don't need that, but that's a better deal because they don't really have good deals on standalone drivers. Gotta have a spark plug socket. It's a good tool. That's a good tool to have. You wanna spend a little more on these. You wanna get a really nice set of diagonal cutters because these are gonna be useful for Odiger clamps and zip ties and stuff. That's, that's a good set. Actually, that one looks nicer for a little less. Let's go with that. That one will do. Gotta have needle nose pliers. Four bucks, can't go wrong. Good set of pliers, screwdriver set. That'll do. It's everything we need. Two bucks, Allen wrenches. Might need them. These are good to have. That's more. This is two. Two is enough. These are longer. This kit's a lot cheaper, but it's missing some key things. You've got uh, wrenches just 10 to 15, and you've got, in terms of sockets, no 10, and that's, that's particularly weird. No deep wells, so not as good long term. This is the set I want, but it's not available. That would have been perfect. That would have been all of our deep wells, shorties, and socket but that probably added, because this isn't available, probably added 40 bucks to our bill. That sucks. Okay, some of the tools we got. Um, these, these were a bit of a splurge, but this is a really nice set. I really like the color codedness of it. It makes it way easier to deal with. We're a little long here, so I'm just gonna sort of cut this crap off and cut that crap off, detach this and leave them on the this thing, and then they go in there. Now that fits a lot better. It's a lifetime warranty in case you break one of these. That fits in our little bag. Well, let's go ahead and open these up because we need these to open everything else up. Hopefully I don't get injured opening these. That's one of their favorite things to do. Look at that action. These are nice. These can cut through Odiger clamps, zip ties, things like that. Splurging a little more on a nice set of these is always a good move. It's kind of a one size fits all tool. You don't need a top quality set, but when you do need them, you need them. So definitely a thing to put in there. These were cheap. This here's a 10 inch. It's uh, from Pittsburgh. Just like our Pittsburgh Vanagon Club here. Um, made in a small town of USA, China. I think it's pronounced USA. Anyway, adjustable wrench, can't go wrong. Always a smart tool to have. Goes in the bag. Needle nose pliers, great for fishing. Great for cutting zip ties. I've crimped Odiger clamps with these. I've ripped some crazy things apart with these. This is a good tool to have. You gotta have a set of needle nose pliers. One of these garbage little razor bladey things because sometimes you need a razor blade and these are like 49 cents and you're gonna wanna make sure you have one. Goes in the bag. 
13 16 size spark plug wrench. Especially on these air cools, you end up taking the spark plugs out a lot. That's a good tool, 3 8 drive, good to own. Screwdrivers, can't go wrong with screwdrivers. You really don't ever need the little guy, but you sure need the shorty, and you definitely need that biggest uh, flathead. If anything, you kind of want more of a pry bar than that, but that's that'll get you started. That'll get you off the side of the road. It's a good set. Let's put it in the bag. A set of 3 8 inch drive Allen wrenches. This is nice, um, particularly for the CV bolts. That's this guy right here, I believe. You kind of want to have a triple square in here as well. You got to get that off Amazon, but it just depends on what's on your CVs starting out. It's going to be this, but you'll probably replace them with triple square. This is just a good kit to have, but you also want to have some hex keys. Sometimes just the simple hand actuated, you know, right angleness of these for, I think this was $2. This is a good thing to have. This is, this is garbage, but you know, it gets you started. I think I'm going to put the tool in, but not all of these. And I'm going to replace it with like a little container of good wire connectors and things you actually want to keep. This is, this is kind of garbage, but it would get you off the side of the road. Combination wrenches. Sometimes you need that seven and that eight for bleeding brakes. 10 is a popular guy. 13 is a great one. 17 and 19 knock. I don't know why we're missing a 15. It would be nice to have a 15, but pretty good set. We'll leave them in their little storage device for now. This setup kind of sucks. Um, we really just need the, the socket, the, the wrench, the ratchety dude and, and the stuff on this side. We've got ourselves a 10, we've got a 13, we've got a 15, we've got a 17, and we've got a 19. That's all we would ever really need. I don't even like to keep this US spec crap in there because you're never going to use it and it's just going to get in the way. So I might get creative. I might have to cut this in half or maybe we'll put all these sockets loose in the side pocket, put the wrench inside. This is a light and they gave it to me for free. It's got a magnet on back. This does light things. The problem is, you know, Harbor Freight makes some quality products, except that the batteries they make, this probably has about nine electrons total in it. So we're going to go ahead and replace these batteries, even though they're brand new, because this is absolutely going to leave you stranded on the side of the road. So we'll put some fresh Amazon batteries in here so that we know yes. it's good. These are some of the best. These are made of Boss Eye Energy. You can feel the density of them. They're made mostly of air and nine electrons per battery. So we'll just throw those out and put these much better Amazon Basics ones in. These actually work pretty good and they last a long time. Oh yeah, there we go. It works on the fifth try every time. There you go, that's how you know it's good. This is another item I don't like leaving home without. At least one tube of super glue. It's a great first aid device and uh, well, it'll get you out of a jam. Sometimes you gotta get yourself out of a jam. Harbor Freight started selling these 99 cents worth of pre-bundled mechanic safety wire. This is a great thing. When something falls down that isn't supposed to and a zip tie doesn't fix it, this is your friend. Also, zip ties. Get the eight inch ones. You don't need the whole bag. Just put a couple in there. Some test leads. These are really nice, especially when you're doing things on your own with a voltmeter. Uh, you can't always hold things well. So a set of alligator clippy dudes, you just need two. And it's got a red and a black one, so you know it's good. We'll take them out of our packaging and toss Hammer. them in I'm a big fan of these softy dudes. You got a softer side and a less soft side. You can do a lot with this. This is a useful tool. Sometimes you need a hammer. It just sort of barely fits in there, but it will fit. Probably should put it at the bottom. What you forget, you gotta have safety glasses because safety. The tools I didn't have because they, they just didn't really have them there or they weren't in the budget. You want uh, some extensions, at least one extension. 3 8 inch drive extension is a good thing. Maybe a wobbly dude, but you don't always need a wobbly dude. Just an extension is a good thing. Um, vice grips. Didn't put any vice grips in there. I honestly the find the most useful set of vice grips are the really tiny ones. The, I don't know, whatever that is, it's 8 inches. Um, the, yeah, those are the right ones. They'll do a lot for you. Also a voltmeter. They didn't have any of the crappy $2 voltmeters while I was there. So I'm going to steal one out of my other bus because I think I got two in one of them. We'll throw that in here for them. Voltmeter with fresh batteries. It's important. It's nice to have a lighter because sometimes when you're doing some of the electrical crimpy dudes, you need to do the electric, you know, you got to give them some heat so that they form a good electricity bond. Um, lighter's a good thing. Some of those heat shrink uh, connector dudes. And some spare hardware, some M8, some M... M6. Can't go wrong with a little M6 and M8 hardware. Always a good thing to have. 
little piece of wire always nice to have a piece of wire you never know when you'll need that uh yeah various spades and butt connectors always a good thing um punches punching a chisel it's not your common every day on the side of the road tool but boy when you need it <laughs> it's there for you it'll be your friend i think that's most of it we'll put together a little side pack that doesn't quite fit in there of some hardware and things just stuff i've got lying around the shop here some used m8 some used m6 stuff it'll get you out of a jam piece of wire things like that uh let's see what we can do there cleaned up and used in our tub of evapo rust here a bunch of crap gets put on the top this stuff's great for cleaning up old hardware it's safe on the hands and stuff and everything comes out looking nice and clean We'll just rinse this stuff off and see what we got. See this little kit, we got some M8 stuff in here, a couple of nuts, some washers, you know, a bolt or two, some M6 things, some random screws, but they're all off vanigans. They're all Phillips head screws. A couple of hose clamps in different sizes. This isn't a water cooled, so it would really just be useful for intake stuff a uh, lug nut and a lug bolt some wire probably about 10 feet of it this is uh both the reds and the blacks uh, we got some good connectors spades crimpy dudes butts all that good stuff and some bad connectors but these things will that'll get you off the side of the road that'll fix most things um we got space here what should we put in there so the yellow bus is sold uh, the guy the new owner we'll see if we introduce him uh he's super excited i picked him up at the airport um we had to do some paperwork and stuff and we went to the notary and they said what van again are you buying now and i said no i'm selling one so that's the relationship i have with them that's questionable but anyway uh it's his now we went on some test drives he's doing a great job driving it he's gonna head home tomorrow so we're gonna go camping and uh it's gonna be great um he's super excited we went did the whole tour of the van showed him how everything works and he's in he's in good shape he's got a good toolkit i set him up with got him some bedding new sheets new pillows everything that goes with the car he's he's set it's gonna be fun it's gonna be a fun adventure for him